Hi, I'm Nick at 034 Motorsport, and today we're gonna go over how to use our live data and data logging displays on the 034 Motorsport smartphone interface on Apple and iPhone. To begin, I'm going to ensure that I have my Dynamic Plus end user flashing dongle plugged into the OBD2 port, the car turned on, and the 034 Motorsport SPI app opened. Once I have opened the application, I will go ahead and head to the diagnostics column. From here, I'll be able to choose either the engine or transmission to dive further into. You'll note the hazard triangle on the right side next to the engine. That's to notify me that I do have a DTC for that controller itself, meaning I have some form of an error code that should be looked at. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin by opening the engine and reviewing the options available. I can check DTCs, I can check readiness, I can view the general information behind my ECU, so controller info, uh, as well as view some live data displays and take data logs with my phone. First, I will check the DTCs that are on this car in which it will tell me some information about the error codes that are on the car. So I can click deeper into them to see extended data. So when it was captured, some variables surrounding that error code, take screenshots if I feel that there's something I would like to review further, and decide to clear those DTCs if I do not want them any longer. Once you hit clear DTC, it will wipe the car of these error codes. These are set up here to be visible, so if they are a permanent code, they'll return. If it's a code that can be suppressed, it will be deleted. I'll go ahead and navigate back and view some of the other monitors available. For example, in this vehicle, I can check readiness to see whether or not I'm ready for my local state inspection if your state has that, and see the base information of this ECU. Underneath the Diagnostics tab, we also have active live data displays and live data logging. So to begin with that, I will click View Data. This will pull up three pages of data displays that we have curated that we feel are the best things that one might first want to see, but could also be adjusted to show the data that you're most interested in. So on this page here, you'll see that I have eight different smaller dial-based gauges for eight different variables that we feel are most interesting and pertinent. Uh, however, you can adjust these to what you might like. They respond real time and actively with the car, telling me exactly what's happening within the engine and the car in general. On the second page, we have a different format of display. Some of the data is the same, some of the data is a little different as well as even an active logging gauge. You can change the variables in those as well to show you a data trace of variables you might want to keep track of while driving. So for example, you see my inputs, you'll see those load accordingly. The next page is a more simplified two dial, which you can then configure to the two main things you might want to see. So let's go through how you might configure a gauge. Say you want to change intake air temperature to a different value. You will click that gauge. It will open the screen a little further. You'll click again, and you'll see an option to change the variable display. So I will go ahead and remove intake air temp, acknowledge that I'm changing a data display, and choose my own data display. You will have many different options available to you. And for the purpose of this uh, test, we'll go ahead and select throttle angle as my one that I would like to view. Once I've added it in, I can click done, and it will reset the system to show me this data display. So once I hit the throttle, it now shows me that. If you would like to actively log the data that you're seeing here to capture it for further detailed review, you can very easily leave the live data viewport and head to the log data viewpoint. From here, it will be a predetermined set of variables that you cannot adjust, uh, and it will begin recording the minute you open. So currently, a data log is running actively and saving locally to the device. When I'm done with the data log and have completed capturing the information that I hope to find, I will go ahead and click back 
and it will ask you if I want to stop the log. I will say yes. From here, you'll be prompted whether or not you'll want to save that log locally or send it into the 034 Motorsport team for further review. We highly recommend that you send all of your data logs in to our tuning support team where we will review and go over the results of your data log with you to see if there's anything uh, that should be examined further or determine if everything is running as it should be. So in this example, I will send the data log to 034 Motorsport. I can enter a comment and say what I was data logging for, general health check, trying to capture a particular performance issue, so on and so forth. In this instance, we'll go ahead and say, this is a demo test and hit okay. And the data log will automatically be emailed to our tuning support team and a copy of the data log will be emailed to you as well. Once our team re receives the log, they'll take a look and begin to interact with you via email to determine more details and help through any issue you might be having. If I also want to review that log, I can click settings, go to manage data logs, and see all of the data logs that I have performed on the vehicle. If it's been sent to 034 Motorsport, you will see a checkbox on the right side. Uh, so for example, this one I did not send to 034 Motorsport when I took it. I can click on the data log and later on decide to upload it if I would like to. So in this instance, I would hit the upload button. I can attach a note if I would like it in the screen prior, but in this instance, it is sent. If you'd like, you can also delete your data logs from here and it will no longer be stored. They're not recoverable after. If you're particularly interested in seeing the live data displays after you flashed and want that to be the first thing that opens on your phone, you can also click a shortcut to launch data view on startup. So an example of what that would look like if I close the application and reopen, it will reload, connect to the cable and the car. And once it's established connection, it goes directly to the live data display. This is not the live logging display. If I would like to go and log, I would need to exit this and select data logging. If you have any questions on how to navigate the 034 SPI application and configure any of the diagnostics or data logging displays, do not hesitate to email tuning at 034motorsport.com and we'd be happy to walk through more of the details.